guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge, and as always, we're here to take a classic arcade game, we're going to see how long we can last off one credit, or one coin if you will, and today we have a real famous one, we're going to be playing the Ninja Warriors, and this was released by Tato in 1987, so here we go, we've got our one coin inserted, and we're going to have some fun actually, this is a great game, and uh, it's a real shame, this is another one that I didn't play a lot in my childhood, it's more something that I've played in my adulthood, but I'm glad I finally uh, came across this game. Now what's really unique about this is it's got this uh, very, uh, as I said, very unique widescreen resolution. Uh, I can't remember the mechanics of the setup, but uh, it's some kind of special uh, triple screen layout that makes it look like it's just in one, it's, it's hard to explain, but uh, if you ever saw this in the arcades in 1987, uh, it was definitely one of the most unique looking machines that you would come across at the time. But what's more important that not only does it look unique, but this game is absolutely fantastic too. So for the story, uh, you're playing this android ninja here, and what's happened is it's based in the near future, and uh, America's basically been taken over by an evil dictator. So this uh, resistance group of scientists has uh, developed these uh, android ninjas in order basically to take the country back. So that's where we come in here. So it looks like we're this really, really cool human ninja, but we're actually more like the Terminator, to be honest. So, uh, there you go. A fun little fact for you guys. Um, this game is a lot of fun. Uh, what I really like is the graphics. They're very, very far ahead of its time. Uh, the, the, the environments all look run down, post-apocalyptic-like. They look absolutely fantastic. Definitely add to that. I mean, so even the backgrounds behind the fences, you can see all the buildings there and stuff. It's just a nice scrolling game. Um, the sound effects are absolutely amazing in this too. I love the backing soundtrack. Uh, you know, I, I think Tato kind of dropped the ball in the end when, in the sound department later on in their life, but uh, in this game, or in the 80s in general, their soundtrack's are always really amazing, and this game is no exception. Uh, but what's most impressive about this one is actually how it plays. Uh, this ninja character here is just an absolute pleasure to control. Uh, you've got two buttons, you can use these hand daggers here, or you can throw your ninja stars, which we probably want to save for the boss, so we're going to try and use as little uh, ninja stars as we can as possible. And then, uh, much like other 80s games you might know, like Kung Fu Master and uh, Vigilante, the jump you actually press up. Now, in most games, uh, up button to jump is actually a pet peeve for me, but this character just controls so well it is not an issue at all. This is definitely one of the smoothest games I have honestly ever played from 1987. It is absolutely fantastic and if you've never played it before you absolutely have to play the Ninja Warriors and uh, especially if you're fans of games like uh, Ninja Gaiden or Shinobi it's every bit as fun and challenging even though it's more of a side scroller than a, a platformer. Don't let that deter you from the game. And you can also see we've got the display on screen below. We've got the one up in our uh, health meter in the bottom of the screen. We're sitting pretty with health at the moment, which is pretty good. Um, next to that, it tells us how many ninja stars we've got left. Now, I'm not sure if you can pick them up as you go along. I can't remember. Hopefully we can. Because <coughs> uh, the first boss itself is pretty OP. And uh, you're definitely going to need these stars because uh, the levels go forever until you meet up with a boss. And uh, you're going to use a fair lose a fair chunk of health I think before you get to them so anyway carrying on here lots of running dogs coming at you always something happening in this game much like you'd expect in an unforgiving 80s uh, video arcade game that's for sure there we go I think we're getting pretty close to the boss now I do remember when these are uh, dogs or whatever they're supposed to be come on the screen we're pretty uh, close or nearby whatever We'll just keep dishing out our Vigilante Justice in the meantime. See, it's uh, really interesting, the storyline, as I mentioned before. It's hard to tell if... Um, oh, I suppose technically I'm a good guy because uh, the government is a, an evil dictatorship now, but you know, also technically it's treason, so the storyline's pretty conflicting in a way, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, is that one level done? Carrying on? Awesome. And we get all the bonus points for having bonus health too. That's great. Oh, cool. And unlike a lot of other um, 80s games, when you finish a level, you actually get your health back, which is incredibly awesome. And we'll carry on here. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get a bonus supply of Ninja Stars, but at least we've still got 30 left here. 
another pretty cool funky soundtrack in this level as well. I do remember the levels do progressively get harder. Oh shit, what's exploding there? Something's shooting at me. It's almost like we're avoiding like random enemy fire and there's a big ass tank here. Well, we've just gone from an easy level to getting absolutely smoked in a second, so we might have to work out the patterns another time, but we're definitely going to be doing a long play of this one day. The Ninja Warriors by Tato 1987. It's a fantastic game. You have to play it, guys. And uh, as always, guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about it, support us on Patreon, and we'll see you next time at one point only.